Hey lovelies, Colette here. It is Sunday, October 20th of the second week of Vampires vs. Werewolves. So we are going to go after today's gift now. So let's go. As I've said before, I don't need to go to Wolfgar because she says the same thing. We can double check of course though, but yeah. She says the same thing, so we are going to go to Lady Lucinda and head to our lair. Shall I escort you to our secret lair now? Yes, please. Here we are at the lair of the vampires. <laughs> Should I talk like this for the whole video? Maybe I'll try <laughs> and see if I can do it. All right, so we must go to Miss Lady Lucinda and see what she has to say. So let's go. I'm going to wait for her to finish before I read. There we go. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, so it's find the vampire item again. Is this connected with a vampire? So we got three items here. It obviously looks like it's going to be the first one because the first one is actually the same mouth that I'm wearing with the fangs. So it's vampire teeth, of course. And then the second one looks like werewolf hands. And the third is a DJ ghost. Or just ghost in general. Um, let's click them and see if I'm correct. So yes, the first one is vampire fangs. The second one is werewolf claw. And the third is ghost. A ghost! <laughs> okay, any <laughs> anyways, um, back on track. So we are going to select Vampire Fangs. So let's do that. After doing so, she does send our gift. I'm going to go ahead and read this, as I usually do. I have reason to believe that werewolves have been entering our secret lair. This weekend, we all must prove we are vampires worthy of this coven. Examine these frightful items and select the one connected with vampires. If you truly are a vampire, this should be simple. I knew you were no werewolf. You have collected five shadow points today, and here is your reward. The test is over, and I haven't found a single werewolf in our midst. You did well this weekend, and we're a step closer to ruling Halloween for good. Come back next weekend to gather even more shadow points. You did much better than I expected, Colette because you completed every challenge this weekend. You've earned another 10 shadow points. I suppose you can have this special prize. Oh, did I earn an extra gift or is it just me? Let me walk away from her and go back. Humph, Colette, you've collected 35 shadow points so far. I suppose it's not dreadful. All right, lovely. We did so well this time. I'm going to have to find a place to take a picture this time. I don't know where I want to take a picture. Um, not really sure. I kind of like this right here. These butts. I think I want to do a thumbnail with the butts. But before I get into this thumbnail, I, <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing quite well on this voice or not. Let me know in the comments below how well my voice is because I absolutely have no idea what you guys think of my voice. But before I get into this thumbnail, let us check out what our gift is for the day. All right, so we actually did get two gifts today. I guess one for it being Sunday and the second one was for actually being here for all three days. So our first one is Jack-O-Lantern face paint and Jill-O-Lantern face paint. I absolutely love how they said Jill for the female one and Jack for the male. All right, so let's check them out. Is it going to show up? Well, that's unfortunate. I'll have to try to look at it in a different way. Actually, Never mind. <laughs> my screen froze, my game froze, which has been doing this because I'm having issues. So we'll have to restart and then we'll get back to this. All right, lovelies, I am back and I actually love that is this cloakroom right there. I don't know how well I could get that in the thumbnail though. I'd have to do 
a separate kind of photo for that but that would be cute as well um, I'm back after having to restart my game because of the issues I'm having but anyways um, let's look at those gifts so I'm gonna have to reopen it in the shop area the Jello lantern since it froze um, but let's look at the jackal lantern Ooh, that is quite cute you see part of the human face but mostly jackal lantern I really really love that and now let's check out the blood bite Oh, it looks like a wallpaper. Very, very cute. And this one here is the Jill O'Lantern face paint. Um, it would look quite good if I didn't have my vampire fangs in. I would actually have to change my lips to a black lipstick. But then that would look quite good, I think. But anyways, that is done. Now I need to get a photo. Um, I don't think I want to do this pose. I think I want to do something different. I don't know what, though. Maybe that. Maybe that, but I think I will put her on the other side, actually. Do baseline from, like, here, I think. It's good. Turn her around here. And then do this and baseline turn a little bit it's a little bit too much still a little bit much Let's try this Oh, that's a little bit. I think we can do that. Okay. Got in camera mode. That's actually really cute. Don't think I'm going to get both of the bats in. I think just the blue bats is what I'm going to get in here. Um, like this. Let me see. Anyways, I'm trying not to break character here. Um, let me finish this up here. I think this is a good one. I think I'm gonna go with this as the thumbnail. Well, that is all for this video. Let me know in the comments how you think I did. My game is actually frozen me again, unfortunately. <laughs> so you're not gonna see my character moving. Um, but I did finish for the most part. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think of my accent. And I will see you all probably Monday. I will post something because I do need to see if the vampires or the werewolves are in the lead after this weekend. But thanks so much for watching. And I love you all so much. And I'll see you all next time. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs>